People seem to get confused over IK and FK rigging which stand for inverse kinematics and forward kinematics, so I thought it would be helpful to make a video on that. This video tries to explain them as easily as possible, at least in my opinion, so please subscribe if you think my videos are useful. Let's get started. I'm gonna first show you a Mixamo character so that you can easily see the difference. You can download and use Mixamo characters and animations for free so I'll put the link in the description, along with a link to an add-in for Blender by Mixamo that creates a control rig including IK controllers. Let's take a look at FK first. Press Control tab to go into pose mode. As you can see, you have to manipulate each bone one by one for a desired pose. Kinda tedious, isn't it? I'll hide the collection and show you the IK controllers now. Just download and install the add-in and you'll be able to produce these controllers with one click. Similar to Blender's Rigify add-in. Again, control tab for pose mode. Let's grab this IK controller and move it. See how the entire leg moves? This way of rigging is very powerful and lets you pose much more quickly than the FK method. What it comes down to is you may choose to use either IK or FK depending on your needs and IK is used widely for leg and arm rigging. The add-in also has an IK-FK switch option. Raise it all the way to 1 will turn the controller to FK. See the difference? Let's switch back to IK. As I promised, I'll try to explain the process in an easier way. Make sure you have Rigify add-in enabled for later. Shift A to add a single bone under armature. Tab for edit mode. Grab this top part and move it up. Click to select the whole bone, right click and choose subdivide. Enter 4 for number of cuts. Go back to object mode and duplicate the bone chain 2 times. First chain will be FK. Second and third will both be IK but a bit different. For the first IK, we'll add a bone constraint here, and for the second, we'll add it in two places and you'll see when you would want to do that. Go into pose mode and try rotating the bone to a pose you wish. Now select the second chain and go into pose mode. There are many ways to do this but I find this method the fastest and easiest. Select the top bone and press shift I, then choose to new empty object. You can see that this shortcut has added an IK bone constraint to the selected bone making it yellow. And the empty object is the IK target. Chain length 0 means the entire chain. Go back to object mode and try moving the empty object. See how it behaves. Let's try changing the chain length to 4. This number includes the bone with IK constraint. You can see the bottom bone not moving with other bones. Let's do something different with the second IK. 
What I want to do is add an IK constraint to the second bone from the top and have it control the third and fourth, but then I also want to control the topmost bone with the ability to rotate. Again, shift I to add the constraint and set the chain length to 3. Try moving it from object mode. If you try to rotate, nothing happens. Undo and go back to pose mode. Select the top bone and add an IK constraint. This time chain length to 1 and select the same empty object as the IK target and check rotation. We can now move the empty and also rotate to manipulate the topmost bone to a precise pose. Try posing the chain to the right like this. Let's bring in a human meta rig now, available if you have Rigify add-in enabled, and add an IK controller plus a pull target this time. Hide the bone chains we've made and press Shift A, Armature, Human Meta Rig. We would want to add the constraint on the shin bone. Just like before go to pose mode, select the shin bone and press shift I. Chain length should be 2. Adjust the empty size and try moving it. We'll add another empty to use as the pull target now. You can choose any shape you want. I've chosen a cube. Resize and move it to about here in front of the left leg. In pose mode select the cube as the pull target. The bone rotates in a weird way. Don't worry. Just enter minus 90 for pull angle. Move the cube in object mode in the X axis to see the leg rotate sideways. I hope this video kind of clarified your confusion about IK rigging. It's not as difficult as you might have thought once you get used to it. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.